friends, it's Z, Zelda NRJ3. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I have some amazing, amazing good stuff for you. <laughs> so back in on March 11th of 2018, I had came home from work. I had a horrible day and I just wanted to crochet and make myself feel better. And lift my spirits because you guys know that yarn is life forever and ever. And I wanted to do something amazing. And after a lot of trial and error, the crochet lovey was born. Oh, I showed it off to you guys and you guys were like, well, that's genius. You don't have to do the amigurumi and attach it to the, to the little blanket. You just make the blanket and you're all set. How do you do it? Now, I had never made a video tutorial before, and my good friend Kimmy, Kim Slover, hi, my friend, she had requested, Z, please make it for me, please, and I was like, I'll do it for my Kimmy. Now, if you guys have seen the video, you guys know that I was in the backyard, I was sitting on a bench, I had my camera clipped to the end of the bench, and I was trying to crochet, and old Manzis was hitting the camera, Moozy was hitting me. I got full of mud. I said some words. <laughs> so I went ahead and um, shot the video. And that will be attached to the end of this video. And the making of how the lovey came to be. Now, as you guys know, Easter is a couple weeks away. And I have a new grandbaby, Aurora. Oh, she's gorgeous I love her to death so I have revamped the video I got myself a cute little bunny and I got me some yarn this is just acrylic worsted weight it's a variegated colorway I got me a J tulip crochet hook scissors and some stitch markers now, if you'd like to purchase this key fob, which says sometimes you got to cut a stitch, this was made by my Luna. I love my Luna. As you can see, that looks like a opal, a blue opal, and some beautiful stones. Opal is my favorite color, by the way, which is a bluish color. It's my birthstone. And I will leave Luna's link down below if you'd like to purchase this key fob. Or scissor fob. And I made a new lovey tutorial. <coughs> this is the new little blanket that I chose. It has some texture on it. And I show you step by step how to make this. A little tiny bunny, little tiny blanket. It has the hole in the middle. We put the head through, and I also want to put the little front paws, and I want to put it corner style, just a wee lad, and there you go, very simple. Isn't this adorable? Perfect for Easter. Perfect. So you want to learn how to make this? Stay tuned. Happy Easter, friends. You can make this anytime also. Easter, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's, any holiday, birthdays, anniversaries, anything. You can use any stuffy. You can use Captain America. You can use Wonder Woman. You can use Jack Skellington. You can use... You could probably do it on a little chopper over there. <laughs> So let's get to the video tutorial and I'll show you how I revamped this crochet lovey. Thank you for watching my friends. Bye. Okay friends, if at any time you need to slow the video down, you click the screen, hit the settings button and go to playback speed. Click that and then you can go times five, times seven, five and it immediately slows the video down for you. Hope that helps.
Okay, friends, let's get started. I will be using this cute little bunny. Oh my gosh, he is just adorable, super soft. I love the ears and the little face. He's perfect. He's about eight inches in height. And I think he's just adorable. Look at that face. I will also have a J Tulip crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and some hair tie elastics that I purchased at the $1.25 store. And some acrylic yarn, any kind that you have. I'm using just a four weight. Okay, friends, make sure you have your hair tie, your hook, and your yarn, and let's get started. Let's pull through, attach the yarn, go ahead and chain one that secures it, and make 36 single crochet all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now you see I am working over my tail. That's what you want to do to save time of sewing in ends. Oh, we ran out of space. No, we didn't. Just slide it on down and make room. We need 36 single crochet. 21. 22, 23, don't forget to pull your tail. Now slip stitch into the first single crochet. You have a beautiful, beautiful circle. Make sure that it's not twisted. And let's continue. So what I'm going to do is chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to make two more double crochets into the same stitch. One, two. Now this is half of a corner. And for granny and for granny square, it's three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So let's do that. We just did the three double crochet. Let's chain two and make three double crochet into the same stitch. One, two, and three. And there's our first corner. Now, do not chain one. Skip two single crochets and into the third, make another cluster, which is three double crochet. One, two, and three. Let's make another cluster. One, two, three, into the third stitch. One, two, and three. So we have our corner, two clusters. It's time to make our next corner. Do not chain one. Skip two single crochets and into the third. Make a cluster. One, two, three, chain two. And right back into the same stitch, make another cluster. One, two, and three. Do not 
chain one. Skip two chains into the third, make a cluster. One, two, and three. Skip two chains in the third, a cluster. One, two, and three. So we now have a corner and two clusters. Time to make another corner. Skip two chains into the third. Make your first cluster. One, two, and three. Chain two. One, two, and three into the same stitch that forms your corner. Now, do not chain one. Skip two chains into the third, make a cluster. One, two, and three. Skip two chains, one, two, into the third, make a cluster. One, two, and three. We have two clusters, time for a corner. Skip two chains into the third, first cluster. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, and three. And there's our corner. Time for a cluster. Skip two into the third. Make a cluster. One, two, and three. Skip two chains into the third, make a cluster. One, two, and three. And slip stitch into the third chain. Make sure you get both chains. Now let's go over what we have. We have our first corner, two clusters, second corner, two clusters, third corner, two clusters, and our fourth corner, and two clusters. I am going to slip stitch to the first corner by going between the bars and not through the stitch. Slip stitch through my first one, slip stitch between my second bar and slip stitch into the gap of the chain two. Let's chain three for our first corner, two double crochet. So that's our first cluster, that's three double crochets. The chain three counts as one double crochet. Chain two. And make three double crochet, which is a cluster. Three. Don't forget, do not chain one. Let's make a cluster into the gap of the two clusters. Not in the stitch, but in the gap. One, two, and three. Go to the next gap, make another cluster. One, two, and three. Go to the next gap and make a cluster. One, two, and three. Now we are at the corner in between 
the two clusters on the chain two, let's make our next corner. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. I really love this variegated yarn. Any variegated yarn or ombre, the way the color changes work up, it makes it look really beautiful. Now we're here, we finished our corner. Let's go into the space between the two clusters and make a new cluster. One, two, three. Don't forget, do not chain one. Into the gap, make another cluster. One, two, three. Into the next gap, make another cluster. One, two, three. And we are now back at the corner. In the corner, we make another corner. Three double crochet. Chain two. And three double crochet. In the gap, make a cluster. One. Two, three, the next gap, a cluster, the next gap, a cluster, and we are now at the corner. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. In the gap, three double crochet. In the gap, three double crochet. In the gap, three double crochet. We are back at the corner, the top of chain three, slip stitch. Now again, I'm going to go between the bars instead of going through the stitch and slip stitch back to the corner between the bars, slip stitch now into the gap of the corner and make a corner, chain three, two double crochet, chain two. And three double crochet. Now, this little lovey is going to be for my grandbaby Aurora. So, what I'm going to do different is this. Um, I will explain it as best as I can. You can keep doing. You can keep doing the granny stitch, solid, do V stitch switch it up whatever you'd like but this is how i'm going to do it for my baby yarn over start your first cluster as a double crochet you're going to triple crochet into the cluster below and make a front post triple crochet so we yarn over twice go into the cluster below in the middle the middle bar 
go behind that loop, yarn over, go through two, go through two, and go through two. And then double crochet right into the same gap to finish the cluster. And that is our first cluster for this round. This is round three. Next one, same thing, start off as it, with a double crochet. Next stitch is a triple front post, yarn over twice, go into the middle bar of the cluster below, go from back to front, yarn over, go through two, go through two, and go through two. And then a double crochet into the same gap to finish the cluster. And that's just going to give it a little bit of added texture. Into the gap, our first cluster is a double crochet, triple front post into the middle bar of the row of the cluster below. Yarn over, chain through two, go through two, go through two. And then a double crochet into the same cluster to finish that granny. Let's do that again. Double crochet into the gap. We're going to front post triple crochet into the middle bar of the cluster below. Yarn over. Go through two. Go through two. Go through two and then a double crochet to finish that cluster. And see how it's just giving it a little bit of added texture just to snazz it up. Now, here's the corner. Let's do the corner as regular three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. There's our corner. Now our next gap, start off with a double crochet. Treble front post into the cluster below. You insert your hook into the back, pop it out the front of that middle bar, yarn over, go through two, go through two, and go through two. And then a double crochet right into the same gap to finish that cluster. Again, double crochet, triple crochet, front post into the middle bar of the cluster below. Yarn over, go through two, go through two, and go through two, and then a double crochet to finish that cluster. Let's do that again. Double crochet, triple into the cluster below the middle bar, yarn over, go through two, go through two, go through two, and a double crochet to finish that cluster. You see how pretty that looks? Might be using to have such a beautiful blankie. Next cluster. Double crochet, triple, which is yarn over twice, one, two, and front post into the cluster below the middle bar. Yarn over, go through two, go through two, and go through two, and a double crochet into the cluster to complete it. The corner is the same way as we do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Now here's our next cluster. Start off with a double crochet. Triple into the bar, the middle bar below. 
yarn over, go through two, go through two, go through two, and double crochet into the same gap to finish the cluster. Yarn over, let's do a double crochet into the next cluster, into the next gap. Triple into the middle bar of the cluster below. One, two, three, and a double crochet to finish that cluster. Again, double crochet, triple crochet into the middle bar of the cluster below. One, two, three, and a double crochet to complete it. Let's do that again. Double crochet. Front post, triple into the middle bar below. One, two, three, and a double crochet into the gap to complete it. Here we are at the corner again. You guys know. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Here we are coming to the last row, double crochet, front post, triple crochet into the middle post of the cluster below, chain two, yarn over, yarn over, and a double crochet into the same gap to complete the cluster. And let's just keep doing that till we get to the very end. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. This is normally how fast I crochet. Actually, I could crochet faster, but my hands are a little sore. <laughs> One, two, three. And slip stitch into the first double crochet. So that's how it's looking so far. See how it gives it a little bit of added texture? I think it's beautiful. This is our end that we can just cut off. Now let's go on to the next row. Now from here, you can just keep going as long as you want. Enough to cover your little bunny. And then you're all set. So let's start over. So let's start the next row. We're going to slip stitch between the bars, not into the stitch, but between the bars. Slip stitch one, slip stitch two. We are now in the corner gap. And we're going to chain three. That's our first double crochet. And make two more to finish the cluster. Chain two and make three double crochet, and that's our first corner. Now we are in the gap. So, what we're going to do is same as before double crochet into the gap, triple front post into the cluster below middle bar. One, two, and three. Don't go too tight so this way it doesn't pull in. And a double crochet to finish the cluster. Next one, double crochet, front post triple crochet into the bar below. And a double crochet to finish the cluster. Again, double crochet, front.
from post triple into the middle bar below. One, two, three, and a double to complete the stitch. And that's what you do, my friends. Let's go around and around. And I'll meet you back when I have finished enough rounds. There you go, friends. We have now completed. You can turn it over and count. One, two, three, four, five rows. Since the bunny is small, I think this is perfect. You can make them 10 rows, 15, 20, however, whatever size you'd like to make. I think this is perfect. Now you can go ahead and make a single crochet all the way around. You can switch the colors. You can do the variegated white, variegated white, variegated white. But I wanted to make this as easy as possible for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let's go ahead and cut the yarn. Thank you so much friends for clicking onto my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you will subscribe, like, and share the video and check out these two videos here. I hope you enjoy them and have a beautiful day. Bye bye!